Hi everyone, my name is Sherry Holmes and welcome to my messy little office alcove that I have in my house. Um, my cat Loki is here today with me. He thought he'd help out. Uh, my daughter's not here to send daycare, so I have something else clinging to me and with me in every single room wherever I go. If he's not in my lap, he's in the bed. Um, so today I thought I would go through a blog post that I had up about wallpapers and bold colors and just adding an accent wall to some of the rooms in your houses. I have a lot of accent walls in my house. I love wallpaper, I love color. I'm sure most of you know that because I reference it almost in every single video I film. Love it, you can't go wrong with color, pattern, a pop of anything. It's your own personality, put it in your house, let's go. So I'm gonna go through some of my photos um, from this blog post and kind of just comment on them, give my thoughts, maybe some tips. Um, yeah, whatever, so let's go. So the first up is geometric wallpaper. I think it's really cool. This happens to be in a basement. It is a budget-friendly thing you can do in your house is some wallpaper. Um, wallpaper can get expensive, so don't quote me on that. It depends on what you pick. Wallpaper can be very expensive, but you can do it very affordably. You can do it yourself. My advice, and I think the easiest to install alone is gonna be the peel and stick versus um, if you roll up the wallpaper glue on your own and, and, and put like, the wallpaper on yourself. I think that's a lot more work. Although that wallpaper is a lot, um, it's a lot, it's beautiful. It's, the quality of it is just amazing. It's just not exactly what I would recommend for a DIY. So I think the peel and stick wallpaper, definitely something that I would recommend, definitely something that I've done on my own, something I would, I would continue to do, and uh, you could do it on your own as well. Um, it's a little easier to line up, to measure. Anyway, so I think having a geometric wallpaper in your basement is great. It adds a pattern. It's still subtle in color. It adds just something to the space, your own little personality. It's also in a basement, you don't get a lot of light most of the time. So it kind of brings some sunshine and personality down there. You can, and you can do the rest with decor. It's great, it's fun, love it. Um, next up we have a teal geometric um, wallpaper in the back of an office space or your workspace at home. A lot of us are working at home right now. What I'm doing currently is working from home. Um, so I think having a happy space to be in is really important. It's a tough year. So right now if I was working in this behind the desk and you have this bright fun color behind you, I think it just brightens your day a little bit. I think seeing that bright color behind me would brighten your day a little bit. I think it's beautiful, it's a subtle, subtle, pardon me, I think it's beautiful, it's a subtle pattern, and it could really go anywhere. Does it have to be teal? No, but it's a nice, fun something you could add to a blank canvas. Um, okay, so next up is patterned wallpaper. This is in a bedroom, I think, in a bedroom specifically, doing a nice pattern is a great, great option. It's a great idea. I have a patterned wallpaper wall in my bedroom. Um, and you can really play with your decor from there. So with colors, with anything else, this wallpaper is gray. However, I will say when you're doing a pattern quite like this, it can be a little bit more difficult to put up yourself. You have to make sure that everything is lined up properly because if you're off a little bit, you're gonna have these shapes like kind of like your patterns like that. It's like perfect, perfect and straight and looking nice. So really pay attention, take your time. It's gorgeous. It's It adds something other than just paint. You know what I mean? It's it's decor on its own without having to add your throw pillows or any table decorations, whatever you want. It's already done in your wall. So you can add them slowly if you want, photos, whatever. Textured wallpaper. I have talked about texture in other videos or other posts. I love texture. I think it adds even more than just a pattern or a color, a texture to anything. And I, I, I think this way about tiles as well. Love it. I've done textured backsplashes, showers, and always in like a funner color as well. So not only does it add something different to your room and a decoration to your room, it also just is, it's richness to me. It's cozy, it's beautiful. So I think it's a really fun option, especially for a bedroom. Okay, so this is in a dining room and this is a very busy pattern. I think it's very fun because a dining room sometimes can be more subdued. It's not a room that you're always in, but you spend some time in it when you're doing family dinners and things like that. Um, it is easier to install. Like I said, because it's such a busy pattern, uh, I would be careful. I would take your time because you want to make sure everything lines up perfectly. Um, 
Mistakes happen. Make sure you order extra. I order extra of everything because you never know. Um, anyway, in this room, it's a nice subtle muted color everywhere, but it's kind of a conversation piece. You have this one wall that it just transforms the entire room. How can you not love that? It's beautiful. It's easy. It's a weekend project. Love it. Okay, now we're bright and bold, which is my favorite. So this is just a statement wall and it's easy to do. It's a small space. So when you have a tiny space, I feel like the walls can almost creep in and it becomes smaller, especially if it's darker. So with this office space, the rest of the walls are really nice neutral. They're just a gray with a cool lime green accent wall. It's gorgeous. It really brings the sunshine in, especially on a moody day, which it is today. It's raining outside, it's fall. But adding that green, I just think it makes you want to be in that space more. It does elongate the space. It seems like it's a bigger office to be in. And it's beautiful. It's summery. It's fun. It's warm. It's a good place to work. And a cool blue. Okay. So I've done almost every color you can think of, and I do love blue hues. I think it's awesome for your household. I don't think it's a color you'll really get bored of and have to change, although with most colors, it's easy. If you're gonna paint one accent wall, it's easy to cover up and redo. Blues, however, I think are really timeless. So it's a color you can add that you won't necessarily get bored with, but you also don't have to stick to one tone. Blues you can do, navy, powdered blues, um, sky blue, whatever you kind of want and add it. Gray blues, like there's just so many options. And you can add all that different color in your texture or in your decor, pardon me. I really wanted to paint my nursery blue. I thought it would be so fun. Instead of doing the traditional pink, I thought we could do different shades of blue and do some blue floral. So it was moody and yet sweet and feminine and beautiful. Um, Purple Haze is up next, it's in a bedroom. Um, I do love purple, it is a darker color, it is moody, but I, I think don't let dark colors scare you. If you decide to do an accent wall, just go light with everything else. Lighter with your decor, whether it's a light gray, a bone, white. Don't be afraid of dark colors. It's bold, it's beautiful, it's moody, but just decorate the rest of the room with whites, whether it's bone, light gray, any kind of very light neutral to really brighten up the whole space instead of close it because everything is so cold, or not cold, because everything is so dark. So if you have one beautiful dark accent wall, I think it can add a different mood, a different tone to your room and just decorate accordingly to keep the space open, airy and fresh. And striped wallpaper. I'm sure a lot of you have seen striped wallpaper. I think it's really fun. I actually love striped wallpaper in a nursery as well because it could be a gender neutral nursery. Um, and the lines, they're all neutral, or the stripes, they're all neutral, which is really beautiful. But it, it adds something, something subtle to the space. It's something different. And then you just add your decor around it. So it really just speaks for itself. It does take some skill because again, it is a pattern and you want to make sure every stripe is straight and level. Otherwise, you're gonna have some wonky waves down your walls. And unless that's what you want, I'm sure it'll be great. But this is not what we're talking about. So it is more of a careful uh, installation. And have fun with your walls. Um, you can paint different walls, different colors in a room. I have done that. I also didn't never have liked to follow the rules of having every bedroom kind of flow because different doors are closed, who cares? I like having different feelings and different attitudes in different spaces. Um, so in this particular picture, we have a dark charcoal, we have white and we have a gray. Those colors mix perfectly. They're still in the same tone. It's not blue, yellow, and green, which you know what? Those are actually colors in the decor, so they kind of go together, but you're not making a wall that you can't change. You're still keeping it very neutral while adding a personality to the space. And a statement wall, I love statement walls. Um, I've done shiplap, shiplap walls, pardon me. I've done different um, exciting textures and fun things to do. So this, I love wood. I think wood just adds a different feeling to your house. If you have a very modern home, having any kind of wood in your decor or on your wall like this, it adds warmth to your space. It's cozy, it's rustic, it is beautiful. So I think having this wood back on your wall here, it is farmhouse chic, but it's, this room would not look the same if it was just a bunch of white walls. That's a little boring, right? I love this, it's beautiful. 
and custom walls. So your, your custom walls, this was my brother who installed this on one of our jobs. It's a personal touch. Um, so not only is it beautiful to look at, it's texture, it's different. It's still a light space, but your wall speaks for itself. It's not just plain Jane, it's beautiful. I love it. But it's a pattern that you choose. Not everyone's gonna have that. It's different. It's you, it's bold. It makes, a, it, like I said, it makes a huge statement in your home. And Wayne's Scotting. So, Wayne's Scotting behind me. I love Wayne's Scotting. We did Wayne's Scotting in my daughter's bedroom. Um, and same, I guess we had to do it with more of a big girl room instead of the way it is. But um, we did three quarter wainscoting. So you have choices of your heights of wainscoting, but it does, does add, I feel, a richness to a room. Um, it's just something other than walls. It's something a little bit extra, a little bit classy. It's, you can do it with different wall panels. You can do it just wine scotting. Um, you can paint it different colors. It doesn't have to be white. It doesn't have to be neutral. Um, in this case, this is white. But behind me is white. My daughter's wine scotting is white, but I have a bolder color up above because I did three quarter wine scotting. So three quarters of the wall are white wine scotting. And then it's a darker, um, more vibrant pink. And the last one are these wall panel, panels, excuse me. I would not recommend doing this by yourself. This is not a homeowner DIY project. Um, this is a bigger change, this is a little bit more work. I would also recommend bringing in a tier designer because they can really help work around it. This wall does add personality, it's gorgeous, I love it. However, I think it's a little bit harder to style for some people, so I would recommend bringing these people in. They can help you pick colors, they can help you lay it out properly, measuring out the wall so that each panel is the same size instead of running into an issue uh, in your corners and things like that. So um, anyway, I think that's super, super important. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that this gave you some tips at what you can do for home. I hope even if you're at home right now and you're a little bored and looking for a change, this is making you think of things you can do in your in your house by yourself or hire in or I don't know, paint something, whatever, whatever, whatever's clever, whatever you feel like. Anyway, um, have a great day and we'll see you for the next one.